So after you've checked in on your first day of treatment, you'd be sitting in the main waiting area. A radiographer would come out and introduce themselves to you. And then we will take you on through, show you around the department, show you where things are, where the toilets are most importantly, where the water fountain is, etc. From there, you'd be taken into a quiet room. We go through everything you need to know as part of the treatment, side effects, concerns, queries. If you have any questions at any point, do ask. There's no stupid questions. Then you'll go through the process of using your enema, which helps to flush your, your back passage. And obviously, you should start to drink your water as well. It's four cups of water usually, but it depends where you are. And the radiographer that's in charge will tell you exactly what to do. So I started drinking four cups of water. And then after a little while, call your name. And you walk into here. And then from there on, they tell you exactly what to do. If the person ahead of you have any complications, then there can be delays. If we are running late, we make sure we communicate this to you, informing you how long the delay is. So if you need to drink accordingly based on that, you can do. If we're running a little bit late, it's okay to go to the bathroom. Don't put yourself through any strain, any pressure. Um, but just let one of us know, because what we'll need to do then is to get you to fill your bladder again. What we'd like patients to do as part of the treatment is ideally tracksuit bottoms or joggers. Basically because that just makes it a little bit easier when we're in the treatment room so we can get to those tattoos that we've made and get to your treatment area a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. If they were to wear anything with metal such as jeans, we do have hospital pyjama bottoms and you'll be asked to change before you come in for your treatment in the changing cubicles. So the most common machine that we use is a linear accelerator and each treatment session lasts about 15 minutes and that's from you coming inside the room to leaving. You take your shoes off, get on the couch and then you lower your trousers so they can see the tattoo marks. We'll get you lying down in exactly the same position that you were in for your CT scan. That's the most important thing because in radiotherapy we're all about reproducibility and accuracy. And if we can reproduce the same position day in, day out, that means the treatment's going to be accurate. And we want you to be still, relaxed, calm, because radiographers will have to move you. They just keep shifting you to ensure that the tattoos are at the exact position with the measurements that they would have compiled during your, your scan. The other thing is that you're not supposed to move, they will move you. The first couple of times it was out of place, I moved the body myself and they told me off because they know what they're doing and I don't. Once we're happy with your position, we'll leave the treatment room and go to the treatment console where we'll take a CBCT scan and then we'll compare the CBCT scan with your CT planning scan where we'll overlay the two and make sure that everything is in the right position. And then once we're happy with everything, then we'll start the treatment. So the treatment session lasts 15 minutes, but the actual radiation dose that you receive will, will be about two or three minutes. All you need to do is just stay nice and still and breathe away normally. You won't feel anything, but you will know radiation is being delivered by a beeping sound that comes from the machine. You are being watched on a camera, so if you need to get the attention of the radiographers, give them a wave. I've really worried about the actual treatment. Is it gonna hurt me? What will I feel? You're laying there and the machine starts turning and making a noise. You know, you just don't feel a thing. And you just think after the first session, what was I worried about? So there's nothing to worry about, no pain. You just stay in that position for your treatment. So once treatment's finished, the radiographers come inside the room, bring the bed down, you can change, you're free to go home. You're not radioactive, you're safe to be around friends, family, young children, pregnant women. There's no restrictions. As soon as they allow you to get off the table, you just say thank you and you run to the nearest toilet because you are, you've been holding it for a long, long time. But um, even though you go to the toilet, you shouldn't leave straight away. You should leave it 10 minutes, 15 minutes because your bladder's still going to fill up again where you've drunk so much water. I had it for five weeks altogether. Monday to Friday and you have the weekends off. What was I worried about? All of it really. Um, yeah, but it, it was okay, it was fine. After I've been once or twice, it was got got the filter it and that, and it becomes easier. You certainly don't feel anything, and people are great. There's always someone about to ask if you had any problems at all. In my case, my wife accompanied me to all my appointments, and that made life so much easier for me because 
During this period, you need to be comfortable and as relaxed as you possibly can.